You want Airshow, right? The 32-bit version. For free? Boom. First of all, credit goes to Psychofish, who put me onto this idea with his own video. So after watching mine, don't forget to check out his channel. Okay, on to the solution. The first thing you will need to do is point your web browser on your computer to cydiaimpact.com. And here's a quick rundown of what you need to do. First of all, you do need a PC or a Mac because you're installing a program onto it and you also need iTunes installed. Now, if you've heard of the term Cydia before, you may think you need to jailbreak your device, but this is a non-jailbroken method. What you will end up with is the free 32-bit version of Airshow, but you will have to repeat this process that I'm going to show you every seven days. And as a disclaimer, you're doing all of this at your own risk. If anything goes wrong with your device, I can't be held responsible. With all that being said, download the Cydia Impactor program and then point your web browser at iEmulators forward slash IPA. And here you will download the Direct Airshow IPA program. The Cydia Impactor program comes as a zipped folder, so you'll want to extract that and probably the Airshow IPA all into one folder. And once you've done all that, it should look something like this. When you launch the Cydia Impactor program, it will be a tiny window on your computer and plug in your iOS device. Next, it's time for a bit of classic drag and drop. So select the Airshow IPA file and drag it into Cydia Impactor. And that should automatically start injecting the file into your iOS device. At this point, the program is going to ask you to log into your iTunes account using your Apple ID and password. It does say that it's only sending the information to Apple, but since this isn't official, this is why you're doing all of this at your own risk. That will kick off the injection process, and there are a couple of things to note at this point. If you are a developer, you probably want to stay away from this because this might ruin your certificates for apps you are developing for, and you will need to repeat this process every seven days in order to keep Airshow on your device and running, and this is why. You will now see Airshow on your iOS device, but if you try and run it, you'll hit the usual untrusted developer error. But the difference this time is that you are the developer, so you can sign your own certificate, and this is how. Go to settings, and on the general screen, if you scroll down to the bottom, you will see an option called profiles and device management. And here, you will see your own Apple ID, which is effectively your developer application certificate. So if you tap through to this screen and then tap on the blue trust wording and finally the red trust pop-up, that should get Airshow up and running. When you launch Airshow, you can tell it's an older version because it asks you to log in. The newer version doesn't need this. And once you've logged in, if you check the version number, you will find that it's 0.3.3. .3. So it's quite an old version, but it does work on 32-bit and this is how you get it for free. So if this solution works, the biggest thing to remember is to save your Airshow recordings to the camera roll immediately, because if you need to do this method every seven days, you run the risk of losing your recordings and not being able to access them. So while this still isn't the perfect solution to getting Airshow back on your iOS device, I'm getting closer and closer, and I hope to find the perfect solution for you soon. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it. If you love this video, don't forget to subscribe. And I have loads more iOS screen recording content on my playlist, so don't forget to check that out too. Otherwise, enjoy the rest of your tech day. Bye for now.